morning everyone, Maggie and Kay here. We're going to show you how to put together our super Inky Wiz, which is the latest in our storage with a twist Inky Wiz design. And this one's designed to hold larger ink pads such as Stamping Up. And it also has some integral shelves incorporated in it. So we're going to start with the base. You'll have four circular pieces, two donut sizes, as in your instructions. And we're going to start and just stick one on top of the other. Make sure you've got the corresponding donut that fits exactly to the wider piece. So we'll just use, you need strong tacky PVA, give it a good, good amount of glue and then pop it on here but just give it a little smooch around just so you can really spread the glue a little bit more. Line it up and put that to one side. And then you're going to repeat with the other one here. So we'll just take our donut, a bit more glue, same principle again, pop it on top, give it a little swish around, that's it, and then you're going to put them to one side. And that's all you need to do at the moment for the base to let it dry. Your next stage is to put in your Lazy Susan mechanism into the one with the deepest depth circle. You'll see with your Lazy Susan mechanism there's two sides and one has extra little holes on. We don't know why they're there and nor do the bearing company but we tend to put that one underneath. And we're just going to line it up with the holes and then we're just going to screw them in place. Now I'm using a magnetic tip screwdriver so it holds the screws perfectly but if you don't have that you can use a little bit of blue tack on the end of your screwdriver. Screw in one just not all the way down, make sure there's a bit of movement Then take your next screw and line it up in the opposite corner. It's easier to do it this way so it's to get the alignment correct. Again don't screw it in all the way down Somebody else also recommended on our Facebook group page using um, a, a, a stick and spray, something like that, if you don't have blue tack to hold the, the screw tip in. Right, that's it. So now they're all in place. Now I'm going to work my way around and tighten the screws up into the mechanism. Completed. And this hole here is your viewing hole and all will be revealed shortly. Okay, so now we're going to carry on. Take your other base that you've already stuck and you're going to slot this one on top and just let it fall into place. Okay, so you'll see that already it starts to whiz round. And then using your viewing hole to lock into a hole until it lines up with the screw hole underneath. So we're going to pop this one in. The screw's lined up, it's in the hole. Again, don't screw it all the way down, but you need to do it enough so that your mechanism's going to move round without catching. So keep going. same as before and just tighten each screw up. And 
that is your mechanism. Okay, now you're going to start building your tower. And I just want to talk a little bit about the shelves that you get. You will get one of these in your kit. And this has integral little tiny holes here, which are perfect for your blending tools. You might find that you need to sand the corners just slightly, dependent on the type of blending tool that you have. So you'll have one of those. Then you will have seven of these which are um, your main shelves and these ones you will be able to use add-ons on if you want to buy, buy any extra little bits to add on. We'll talk about those later. And then you will have three of these which actually have integral shelves which are additional a feature on this Inky Wiz. It's not available on the others and this will mean you can actually put additional smaller ink pads as well. I think a total of up to 60. Then you'll have your locking panels and you will have eight of these and this is how we're going to start to construct the tower. Now we've done it so that you will have on your inky whiz that's finished you will have um, the shelf with the blending tool hole at the top of your inky whiz under the first shelf and then you've got your three integral shelves at the bottom but you can do it however you choose to do it. This is just the way we've done it. But do remember with your blending hole tool you need to allow enough space for the handle to fit at the top and to hang down at the bottom. And also when you're stacking your system, deciding how you want to do it, make sure you've got all the flare marks pointing up the same way. It's not essential but it's just a bit easier just to see. So we're going to start and we're going to take two of our panels and I'm going to start and slot the first one in. You don't need any glue for this because I'm going to turn it round so you can see a bit better because the tension when it's completed will hold it in place. So now we're going to put the next one in. And this is a normal, sh um, normal shelf. And I think actually, although I'm doing it this way to show you, I'm going to turn it round because it's easier for me to do that. And I'll show you the completed one. Here's the assembled tower. And you can see with us, this would be the top of your whiz. Then you've got your blending hole tool there and then you work your way down and then you've got your three integral shelves at the base. That's how we've done it, you might decide to do it a different way. So now we're going to carry on adding the panel. So now we're starting to add our other panels in. You will find the third panel to put in is the hardest. Just take your time and sometimes you may need to very slightly angle it as you push it down. Then you'll take your next one, so work your way around. And I just want to say something at this point. My fingers are quite fat. I have problems with dexterity issues. And I actually am finding this relatively easy to put together. Right, and now I'm just going to turn it round, finish popping all the other panels in, and then we'll show you the completed tower. Okay, so here's your tower completed. Just turning it round so you can see how all the shelves are. And the other thing is, you'll notice that it's very sturdy and it's not been glued at all. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is pop glue along all the base edges of your supports. Then you're going to take one of your struts and from the top you're going to slide it in all the way down so it's poking at that end. So it's poking at that end. Take your base and what you want to do, is, it's easiest if you lay it on its side, this hole, this strut here, wants to fit into one of those holes there. So we just line it up, and once it's in, keep it in place, turn it over. So that's one of the slots in place. And you're going to just pop the next one in. 
Okay, so you can see the slats are all in. Put your first one in, that will line it up. Now if you find your slats aren't going down completely as far as the other one, just check your base and you probably need to move it round a little bit so it all sticks. So you can see we've popped glue both sides of the slats, glue on top and then we're just going to fit the lid on here. Just line it up nicely. That's it. Okay, now you've got your glue there, so press down firmly. And what we would probably recommend is turn your whole inky whiz upside down and leave that overnight to stick firmly. And that's your completed inky whiz. Um, decoration wise, we recommend you can paint it or you can use decoupage papers, whatever. Personally, we found it easier to spray it. You need to prime it first and then spray it, but it works well. And there are actually, we do also do additional add-ons. One of them is a medium-sized hole, which you could put down here for holding bottles, sprays, things like that. And we also have a larger hole, which is this size. Again, that incorporates larger size bottles and it's also perfect for your blending eggs and smoothies, things such as that. Or if you want to just have continual shelves all the way up, then we have solid add-ons and you can just keep adding them all the way through, which is why they're called add-ons.